friends, welcome to this channel. My name is Nastya and this is a day in the life kind of video. When I was switching from a linguistics to coding, I was curious to watch videos about people's life being software engineers uh, because, well, I like to know what kind of uh, lifestyle a profession entails. Uh, to better understand uh, if it will fit me from that perspective or not. So I was curious to watch lots of videos like this one. And the same actually for everything else. Before I got puppy, I watched similar videos, but puppy related. So if you're into this kind of videos and you are curious about software developer lifestyle or a day in the life, here you go. This video is gonna be useful. And also if you are curious about anything else and still here, let's get started the day. But before, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Workday usually begins at 7.38. I work fully remotely, so I don't need to commute. And I like to start earlier. I like to start with going through my Slack messages, emails, maybe checking my latest PRs, doing self-reviews or opening draft PRs, testing my changes on a staging server or something like that. Then I have one meeting in the morning. Hello. Happy Monday. And sometimes it is the only meeting of the day. Sometimes I have a couple of more, but usually my calendar is pretty empty, which is good because it gives me a lot of time to actually do things. And I think my most productive time is before lunch. So that's the time when I build things or improve things. I'm about to have my lunch, but while I'm waiting for my food, I just wanted to answer a couple of questions that I'm getting. So let's do a little Q&A session. And I wanted to start with this question. What's your background and how did you become a software developer? And I have a non-traditional background. I did not study computer science and instead I majored in linguistics with French as my first language. And then I decided to pivot and I learned how to code on my own and I became a full-time programmer. What technologies do you use? My official title is front-end software engineer, which implies the knowledge of JavaScript. So I use JavaScript and React on the front-end and I use TypeScript with Express.js on the back-end. I don't work a lot with CSS, but we use SCSS. Uh, and also I do a little bit of Ruby and Ruby on Rails, but that's something super new to me. I've never worked with it before and I started learning it particularly for this role. So I'm kind of learning on the go. What is the most valuable lesson you have learned in your career as a developer? So first, everything is figure outable and uh, Googleable. If you see something new that you've never seen before or have never done before in the technical context, don't freak out. Just go Google and find the solution. A second is that it is impossible to know it all. Well, first of all, there are so many things to know in tech and also some things just constantly change. So it is not about knowing it all. It is about, I guess, knowing some things and adapting and learning on the go and figuring out on the go. And the third thing is that your computer chair is super important. My previous chair was giving me so many backache I couldn't even sit at some point and ever since I invested some money into a good ergonomic chair, everything has changed. time. It depends. Sometimes it is mostly for doing research, investigating some bugs, uh, but sometimes it is also a very active time. 
especially if we are at the beginning of a project or a sprint. But I would say there is a stereotype that programmers code most of their time and I feel like it is not true, at least in my case. Sometimes I feel like I read more at work than I write code because there are lots of PRs to review and also when you investigate or res try to resolve a bug, there are lots of documentations you need to read. So PR reviews and reading docs, it is also sprinkled <laughs> around uh, and it's something I do in between of things. My day is coming to an end. I verified a couple of PRs, I opened my PR and I merged a PR, <laughs> did a lot of investigation. I was trying to find a solution to a bug, but I didn't. But tomorrow is going to be a new day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you in my next one. And now it's time to do some yoga and go out with Floki.